My name is Carl Halbert and I'm the city archaeologist for the city of St. Augustine. Archaeology is the study of the material left behind by people. Generally, people think of archaeology in terms of monumental architecture, such as that found in Egypt and in Mesoamerica, Mexico, and Guatemala. The federal government defines an artifact as anything over 50 years old. So archaeology, really for all intents and purposes, deals with things that date from 1950 on back. Archaeology is a way to understand the past that allows us to see how the people within the community that we live in adapted to conditions here 200, 300, 400 years ago, how they interacted with each other and how they interacted within a larger world system. The material that we find here in St. Augustine, while not necessarily the most exciting material, really is a treasure trove of information for understanding the past. The artifacts tell us who these people were. They're kind of like a uh, unwritten record of how the people lived through, you know, uh, in a particular period of time. Uh, for example, you know, the material that we're finding here, we're finding a lot of Native American pottery mixed in with European pottery. That tells us that there is a working relationship between the Native Americans in the hinterland and as well as St. Augustine uh, and the Spanish population that was here back in the early 1600s. The project that you see in the background is a City of St. Augustine excavation of a property that's slated for new construction. The Cathedral Parish School is going to be building a new kindergarten building here. And so before they can do that, we have to come in and investigate the property beforehand to determine what types of archaeological deposits are present, how those deposits will be impacted by construction activities, and to try to get out as much information as possible before the ground is disturbed by construction and before the building is constructed, which will then make conducting archaeological investigations impossible. Who knows what we're going to find when we open up these test units that we're opening up right now. We suspect that one of them may be in an area of a well. What these are were large pits dug into the ground, and then in the, toward the middle of those pits, they would take a barrel and they would sink it into the water table, and then they would put barrels and stack them on top of that, and then cover up the pit around the barrels, creating a well shaft. That's where they got their drinking water from. Whenever we dig out a well, we find all sorts of stuff in a well. One of the wells, we found a wooden bowl that's over 350 years old. And we found a partially eaten fig and a partially eaten orange. In other cases, we found a nest of alligator eggs in a person's backyard that dates to the late 1800s, here in the downtown area. In another case, we found a remains, the skeletal remains, of a donkey that had been dismembered. And all of its legs take cut off the torso but they were cut off in such a way that the bones were broken. I would say archaeology helps the community understand its heritage, and that's the most important thing about archaeology.